back with another video hey guys hi <laughs> hey mini me you know what people missed you a lot good to have you back is it how oh, sweet love you all <laughs> huh? okay okay <laughs> so guys after all the hype leaks bells whistles and what not Finally, here I have with me the OnePlus 5, the successor to the most popular OnePlus 3T. Hey, after 3, shouldn't it be 4? How come it's 5? Hmm, yeah, even I was wondering about it. Not sure why. I will let your fans answer that. But for now, can you please stop interrupting? I have to continue with this video. <laughs> hmm. So here's the box, Indian variant. Simple package with the number 5 on the front. Comes in two colors, black and grey, and in two variants: 6 GB RAM with 64 GB storage and 8 GB RAM with 128 GB storage. This is the 6 GB RAM model and the grey color. While I open it up, take a look at the spec chart for your reference. All right, opening up the box, we have the OnePlus 5. Nice. Let's get to it in a minute. Then we have the manual and a SIM eject tool. Moving on, a nice photo that is shot using the OnePlus 5 and has a message from the CEO at the back. Then a Type-C cable. Legendary dash charger. Yes, for those who don't know, it's a fast charger. No headphones etc. So that's about the box. Here you go, the OnePlus 5 in its grandeur. Well, a solid and premium looking device in my opinion. Hey, why are you holding an iPhone 7 Plus in a OnePlus 5 video? What? Shoo! Hmm? Did I ask anything wrong? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> the device is all metal and yes, resembles a lot like the iPhone 7 Plus design, especially the back. Keeping that aside, pretty solid build and good in hand feel. To the front, we have the 5.5 inch AMOLED display with 2.5D curved glass. It has Gorilla Glass 5 protection. You get a screen guard applied by default. The resolution is 1920 into 1080 and the pixel density is 401 ppi. Front top, we have the multicolor notification LED, 16 megapixel front camera, earpiece, and couple of sensors. Front bottom, the fingerprint scanner, which is super fast and works good. Also, doubles up to be the home button. You also get the navigation keys, they are illuminated. Bottom, we have the speaker grill, Type C slot, primary microphone, and yeah, a 3.5mm audio slot. Wow, Minimi, look, this has a 3.5mm slot. Minimi? Mm -hmm. Though it's a single speaker, the audio output is loud and good. Right, we have the dual sim slot which can take two nano sim cards no storage expansion option tested geo and it works fine and the power button top there is nothing left we have the alert slider and the volume rocker back we have the dual camera setup where you get one 16 megapixel with f1.7 aperture and another telephoto 20 megapixel with f2.6 aperture for zoom etc a secondary microphone for noise cancellation and the LED flash. One plus branding in the middle. That's about it. So what is my impression about the device? On the build, no doubt this sure is a well built device and looks premium. Metal body, chamfered edges, Gorilla Glass etc. However, get ready to be mistaken it for an iPhone 7 Plus, which totally could have been avoided by OnePlus. Frankly, this is my thought. Many say Apple doesn't innovate as much as they do before and then go on to get inspired by what they do. Weird. Anyways, overall on the build, nothing to crib. 
On the display, though 2K displays have started making way into flagships, nothing major to grip this being at an 80p display. You get an AMOLED screen and for sure has good color reproduction, bright, crisp and good indoor and outdoor visibility. Some features like reading mode, night mode etc add to the overall experience. On the performance, well, with the latest Snapdragon 835 Octa-Core chip clocked at 2.5GHz bundled with 6GB RAM and Adreno 540 GPU, yep, for sure got me a butter smooth multitasking experience. If you ask me, what about gaming? Well, throw whatever you want and it handles it with ease. RAM management is also good. As far as UI goes, it comes with Oxygen OS built on top of Android Nougat. Software experience is smooth. It is close to stock experience that you get on this device with minor tweaks here and there. Sensors, well, you get all the common stuff packed inside and also NFC. On the battery backup, you get a 3300mAh battery, which is 100mAh less than the previous generation. Weird. However, given the overall specs, one day backup is what you get on good use. No two or three days. Also, you get super fast charging called Dash Charging using the adapter and cable in the box. Would have been better if OnePlus had provided a large battery. It's time for flagships to start offering two or three day backup when budget devices are able to offer that. On the camera, both the front and rear is excellent with some stunning shots and can go up to 4K video recording. The camera app has ample auto and manual controls for you to play with. You also get a portrait mode. <coughs> On the downside, at this price, you don't get optical image stabilization. However, it has electronic image stabilization, which is okay. And in low light, I see a bit of grain. But overall, it's an excellent camera. Here are some sample snaps that I quickly shot to give you an idea. Guys, currently I'm recording this using the front-facing camera of the OnePlus 5 and the audio is also through that. So you get a pretty good idea. Guys, this is in low light. I personally think it would have been better for the OnePlus 5 to have a large battery, optical image stabilization, could have been waterproof and finally could have been a unique design. Alright so that's my impression on the OnePlus 5, that's most of the things a flagship should do. Got questions? Do post them in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. Since many had asked me these two questions, I thought I'll address it in this video. Um, okay Sean, how is this when compared to the LG G6 at this range? Well, I would lean slightly towards the G6 because of the extra things I get like better display, better build and of course being waterproof to name a few. Okay, cool. Um, if I have a OnePlus 3T, should I upgrade? <laughs> well, frankly no because in real world scenario, it doesn't make a big difference. This is more of a spec bump than a must have device. So you're still good with your OnePlus 3T. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> so that's it for this unboxing and impression video of the OnePlus 5. Like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment your queries in the comment section below. Hmm? Hey guys, don't forget to answer my question on why it was named 5 and not 4 if you know it. Yeah, make sure to do that. Alright guys, we will catch you in another exciting video. Until then.